In this video, we are going to learn about how to compare the FHIR structure with the actual JSON format. This would be a very, very crucial video because this would be the base structure of the next uh, four to five videos. And even this would be a refresher video for the previous four to five videos. So it's very important. We'll follow this particular video. We'll start from scratch. We'll go to Google and you can type FHIR directly. The first or the second one would pop out FHIR HL7 Fire Standard. You can click on it. You can go to uh, resource types and you can click on any of the resource type over here. You can click on patient, that's perfect. And you can go to the structure over here. Even though we have came to this page multiple times, I understood many more topics, but there are like still a lot of stuff left out to understand. Let's look into a few things. For example, we have a structure over here. Before continuing, we'll refresh ourselves. You know, right? Uh, for example, in this case, patient is our resource. I'll just type it over here. I'll call something like resource. There's nothing but patient over here. And if we go back, uh, there are like other things like identifier, name, and telecom. Those are nothing but objects. Okay. I click over here, OBJ is the object, and I'll just take a first example. I type it as identifier. And if you click on any particular thing, uh, for example, I'll take it as active, there will be two things here. So the thing is like an object even can be a key and value. For example, if I go here, uh, we have an object as an identifier, but inside identifier, because it is a complex data type, there will be multiple values over here again. So to understand uh, what is key and value, I'll show you an example. Okay, we'll go to uh, one of the structure over here, which I'll just copy and paste it. Okay, that's perfect. I'm using the identifier key and value. I just copy over here. You can see this is an object and these are all values, but inside this object, they are like other object and the value over here. You can call it as an element, but it's like a complex data type. So inside identifier, you will be having multiple keys and values. So, that is a basic, very basic understanding. You can call it as something like key value or like uh, element and value. Okay. So th this would be our uh, basic understanding before stepping into the video. So for example, here we concluded in the previous videos, like what is what? Over here, I just explained. HL7 with FHR. For example, if there's a PID segment, there's nothing but a patient resource. So segment is nothing but a resource. We don't have uh, the complete message over here. And we have field structures and everything. We don't have anything uh, like here. It's very easy. And inside PID5, we have like multiple uh, components, 5.1, 5.2. Similarly, inside uh, a particular uh, structure, for example, any particular object, there are like multiple uh, values over here uh, with different uh, keys and values so we already have gone through all this part so if you haven't uh, you can cover this before coming to this video it would be very very helpful about the complex and simple data types which we are discussing okay yeah let's let's go to the actual content over here and i'll go back now uh, our basic thing is like uh, just comparing the structure and just checking how the json format would be for that so over here you can see identifier and we need how the JSON structure will look for it. What will I do? I'll just keep it aside the both tabs and we'll see how this is working. So you can look over here we have an identifier so I just created the JSON structure only for this identifier. You can see as is a square box, it's a complex data type. There will be multiple other values inside it. So I will click on the identifier. You can see there will be multiple other values too. I might have clicked in the wrong type. Give me a minute. So when you click on this identifier and we'll try to understand why there is a key use uh, type coding and all these elements over here. I'll click over here. You might not see the identifier directly. You can do control F and do a search. You got the identifier click on it now you will understand the structure you can see there is another key and value for it so this is nothing but use as is a rectangle it's a simple data type again we have a type with the complex data type so inside type 
there will be all these values okay so if you want to understand uh, what are these values you can click on the codable concept you can see again the coding and text values the keys are there so you can see again uh, coding again inside coding again this is a complex data type i'll click on it you will get all of the values again system version code you can see system code so you might be asking why there are uh, no other options over here so you can see with the cardinality this is zero to one so this is optional it can be or it cannot be so that's the reason uh, i didn't kept all the values over here so it's as simple as uh, understanding the structure uh, so not an issue so understanding structure is much needed over here before uh, continuing to the next parts of the session similarly before going to the next part we'll come uh, cover some uh, other thing for example if it's something like active or we can uh, go with the name i'll click over here and we'll try to understand uh, what is the structure of it for example this is the name i'll click on the variable name you have all these details over here no if no you can do control f so uh, it is a little bit complex sometimes to search the object types or data types you can directly do control f and search I'll click on human name you got the structure right in real time uh, even you want to know how this uh, structure it is that that is very important uh, before we uh, proceed to anything so I'll just copy the structure of it only for the specific thing so it looks simple over here you might ask uh, why there were no all other details for example if I undo and if I come back over here you can see uh, we have like uh, multiple again uh, different data types again we have like all flower brackets uh, square brackets you might be thinking why there are no all these details in this particular JSON format okay you don't need to think much about it so let's start as we already discussed in the previous video I'm just discussing once again you can remove all this this, this is just a comment part of thing so not in use yeah you can see the problem is these are not complex data types. These are direct key and value. Key and value. So that's it. We have a key and you have value over here. Simply we have a key and value over here. Even here, this was a simple data type. That's the reason we had a key and a value. But when it is complex, we have an object. Inside that we have again multiple objects and keys and values. So that's the reason uh, I just use this particular example for the comparison. And again, you can see over here. We have a square bracket which is nothing but repeatable means it's an iteration uh, simply like in HL7 so it can iterate multiple times so that's how the JSON structure it is you don't need to be very very uh, anxious about thinking how JSON is uh, completely different it's very very simple it's key and value as we discussed in our previous videos so as I said this would be uh, the informative video to understand structure before continuing to other videos so in the pre next videos you will be able to try to understand what is domain resource and what are the different types of codes codable use codable concept and what is this uh, choice uh, of types and backbone element and a lo lot of things so I just want to make sure uh, to have a refresher before continuing to the actual concepts so just understand uh, JSON is very very simple key and value or else you can uh, directly think about this uh, resource is nothing but a complete uh, message type or like a segment okay just a refresher okay an object identifier so your object is nothing but the identifier which is nothing but this particular part again you can think this um, E and values or like element and value that's it now we are going to start the next videos with the actual uh, content which are going to learn thank you